Unravel the magic of should in English advice. Hello language explorers. In today's journey, we are delving into the fascinating world of English modal verbs, focusing on the versatile should. We'll learn how to use should to give advice in English, making your conversations more nuanced and your advice more impactful. Remember, the magic of language learning unfolds through practice. Should is a powerful word. It's a modal verb we use when giving advice or making recommendations. Imagine your friend can't decide whether to buy a new phone. You might say, you should buy a new one if your old phone is not working well. Here, should is used to express advice or a recommendation. Should is easy to use. The structure is simple. Subject plus should plus base form of the verb. For example, you should go to the doctor. In negative form, it's subject plus should not or shouldn't plus base form of the verb. Like, you shouldn't ignore your health. Let's explore some examples. 1. She should apply for the job. She has all the necessary skills. 2. They shouldn't wait any longer. The deadline is tomorrow. 3. We should consider recycling more. It's good for the environment. Notice how each of these sentences offers advice or recommendations. Now, it's your turn. Try to construct sentences using should to give advice on the following situations. 1. Your friend can't decide whether to study abroad or not. 2. Someone is considering skipping breakfast to lose weight. 3. Your brother is thinking about adopting a pet. Take your time and remember the structure. Subject plus should plus base form of the verb. And that's a wrap. We've covered the use of should for giving advice, learned its structure, explored examples, and practiced with some exercises. Remember, mastering the use of should and other modal verbs will make your English more expressive and natural. As always, practice is key. Happy language learning, and see you in the next video where we'll explore more exciting aspects of English grammar.